Oh my god, he's gonna proxy carrier rush. Oh, I wish. Yeah. I'll just leave it at that. A boy can train. Alright, so we do. Yeah, I got you. Thank you. What are you going to do for a second? Fun. 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 But I still think that the Phoenix play is going to be what's expected. Oh, it looks like he is going to be throwing down this wow. pylon. Kiwikaki is going to be pulling back, trying to pick this one off. And a Phoenix is very expected at this point. But Sase, no, will go for the Void Ray. It looks like Sase needs to pick a thing and build it. One of the two. Back up, pressure control. I do not hear jumper two. Now, Sase actually getting a little unlucky here. He placed that pylon in, a, in an area where he could warp on the high ground. But Kimikaki having some foresight and putting that pylon on the right was able to spot that. That's going to help him a lot because that prevents units from just getting a flank on him. And at this time, Kimikaki is honestly keeping his cool. As we have video. We've got video. We have video at the Civicon. When these units decide to try and move up that ramp, and I'm kind of surprised to not see any mortal or anything like that, but he's just relying on 3-gate flank. Yeah, I mean... All right, this is KF6, W-R-W-I, and I can't check that complete. And, uh, what if you can do is, uh, hand on to, uh, direction control, please. Uh, I can just do the talk out. Can we copy? That your safety checks are complete. We do have video. Make sure your call box is on. Break. Parachute control. Jumper two safety checks complete. You copy parachute control. Wow. Blocking everything from the station. Station, 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 stand by, stand by, stand by. Two of India, six of India. Mike, copy, pop up. That safety checks are completed. Jumper two, jumper two, you are clear for TSO. Copy. He's in his base. He does not have blink yet. He needs to get more units on the field. He does have enough for another warp in. But is it going to be in time? Jumper two, you copy. You are clear for TSO. Two of India, six of India. Mike. Proxy pilot set up. But I All right. Sorry, I didn't have a call. Well, uh, uh, one call for another miss. Uh, would you come back in, please? What insane aggression from Sase Kimikaki still having a decent number of problems. I'm unable to copy, which I am able to hold on just a smidge longer, but that is so many units. How did Sase do this? We see only 14 probes remain for Kimikaki, 26 for Sase. Taken down, and it looks like Sase, the man from the open bracket, about to go on a. Really fast PVP indeed, nine and a half minutes. I think the only thing faster could have been someone forgating. But wow, that was such an interesting build out of Sase, and that point where he flew in with a double Phoenix and picked up the Sentry. Oh yeah, that is just like blowing my mind. How Kiwikaki responded to that correctly. I'm getting a very big fire out there. I got Wizard Six, Wizard Six, Wizard Six, Wizard Six, Wizard Six, to prevent the force fields. I personally have never seen that, but maybe I'm just out of the loop. That was awesome. Yeah, I mean, you have to think about the way... I only got two of them fixed up in. Suddenly negated just by having a few sentries right front. So now you have players trying to get away with all sorts of stuff by having just one or two or three sentries. So you just get one or two or three phoenixes. Sorry, guys, we got a really big fire on them. I'm going to get inside the call time. I got a two or six something. Take a look at exactly what was going on back in Sase's base as we see these three warp gates and the key yeah. place to look is down here in this bottom corner. He was constantly building out of all these warp gates, literally flooding with as many units as he could. Oh, man, go ahead. Stop. And in a sense, it almost feels like a... Go ahead, man. Go ahead, man. In that unit tab, we see him ahead in Zealots. Except for probes and except for tech. But, I mean, that brilliant play that you were talking about, Husky, where he lifted up these two uh, yeah, sentries, just enough energy for a force field. I mean, Kiwikaki managed to get the force field off at the last second, but, I mean... November 2nd, X-ray, X-ray, November. One single sentry, all the rest of the uh, warp gate usage spent on those damage-dealing units, the Zealots and the Star. With that play, managing to take down Kiwikaki. No idea, I forgot my ability. Uh, go ahead, Jack, try that, please. Quick break.
Are you 5 9 Daly City, Whiskey 3, Sierra Delta? All the way from the open bracket, doing well in the pool play, but I'm Husky. And I'm Bay 9. See you right after this. November 6th, Uniform Delta June, yes. And I think it's going Oscar Bravo Mike, take four call signs, four call signs. Okay. Zero Delta Six, Oscar Bravo Mike, AFX by the end of you. November Six, the year November, AFX by the end of Whiskey Three, Sierra Hotel. Whiskey Three, Sierra Hotel, KSX WRW. Pressure control to uh, jumper two. Let me know when you need to stop shooting those QLA music from Delta Mike. We'll do parachute control. Uh, go ahead for more traffic. 11, where I am already in game. All right, we'll save you for. Sorry, the last call thing. We're going again. From. French Canada. It is range. Range six. Charlie Lima. He is such a nice guy. I have met him before. Calm down. Go ahead. Has very inventive things planned for these MLGs. Always kind of. Alpha Fox six. Romeo Romeo. You're in a group. I have to reemphasize. He worked his way through the open bracket in the winner's side. Charlie Mike seven. Six W R W. Cool. It is Sase. She is fast on that, man. It was, it was like before anyone could get their first clap in. Right. November 6th, Uniform Delta Juliet, KS6WRW. Probably not a smoker, Sean. <laughs> Kiwi Cocky continue to corner boost away. Always love this slightly odd. More traffic for, for, for uh, Jumper 2. Please go. Q and D6, move it up the mic. But your ramp. The fact that you can safely pull your units back. Yeah. Have your probes sweep down. Sorry, parachute control. Uh, Pack off. Please, uh, can't hear you anymore. Video is still good. Video is good. Working on the other stream right now, but uh, excellent. Sorry, uh, go for traffic, please. The, the fact that your base. Okay, ready for traffic. Go for it. Pylon before gas, very unsafe. Jumper two, ready for shoot, though. Go for it. Pressure control. Kilo and Neil, six kilometers to Mike. And uh, that is going to give him a lot of gas to stockpile. And we did see him corner boost out some zones before. Come then, go ahead. Be cocky, but I do just want to, to finish the thought in that the base is so small, that's important for two reasons. Number one, you get an observer in there, you see everything almost immediately. Yep. And number two... Uh, 36, I think it was UVM, K6WRW. Without you being able to do much about it, if they are yep. placed poorly. Yep. I mean, that's especially why the siege tank. 36, Oscar Bravo, Mike, KS6WRW. Zealot opening by Sase. If you think about it, can it oh, yeah, yeah, on yeah, yeah. uh, two player maps? It's easy to hide those pylons and cannons. So you just do a zealot rush. If he's cannon rushing, you're well defended. Yes. If he's not, if he's doing something standard, then you already know Sase is very comfortable with this exact style of play that he is a rally point. Kiwikaki does throw down the second gateway to the side of the board. And I'm wondering if Kiwikaki actually noticed that. Alright, come on, 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 What's so I crazy is that they're working in the wind of our butt. Exactly. Uh, I bet if you get a second one, can we get a third one? Uh, so you don't have your alternator. Just let me know when you need that alternator check. Uh, uh, thank you. Continue on. By two probes. This is... KJ6 stops. Good build. I actually think the fact that he delays his gas means that his probes are my friends are moving his last fish. And this allows him to really not be very far behind with his build of time. KJ6 stops. Get your connect. We can see that Kiwi Kaki does have more gas lined overall, but 
still a very brilliant opening play by Sase. And we've seen Sase do this a lot of times. In the go ahead, go ahead. Sean, where he just, he kind of changes the standard opening into something that can really give him an edge. Now, as yeah, a uh, Diablo. standard stuff, we have the... Oh, not the other, they're heavy. And I'm going to have to build, just kind of rely on his opponent playing. Well, 52, 52. He's going to be expanding here. 52, uh, yeah, 5.2 there. Thank you. Totally bomb. Okay, you want to stop here, uh, number two? It's no, no, I can go into about 2,000 feet. I can take more traffic still. Okay, this is first you can call. Okay, jumper two, ready for more traffic, ready for more traffic. Q will India 16 minutes up to Mike. Come out Diablo. Diablo, go for it. Kiwi Coffee's play is very precise stalker play. It's still hanging on the tail. Still on this map. I mean, this is what's really showing Sase's brilliance. A move like this cannot be defended by just very nice control. It must be defended with in and out knowledge of timing, in and out knowledge of how Kiwikaki can play based upon the chrono boosts that he saw and the amount of damage he did to those workers. Kiwikaki moving in for a good bit of damage, but Sase looks like he may very well be prepared. Oh, no! Well, Sean, I do want to mention that. No, no, we're trying to I'm glad he tried to reach you. Did you hear him? I did not. I did again, Tom, man. He put them wherever you want them, which may be working against him. He's going to try and get the Nexus. He can't get the Nexus to the field. Only trapping. No effort. Oh, yeah, is completely <laughs> out of position. My gosh, this is, this is like trying to hold Sam. But man, that's soccer. And it looks like Sase oh, with the Zealot wow. counter warp in Kiwikaki spots the pylon, and that girl is delighted. This play by Sase that we've seen game and game again. We do see a major battle on the left side though. Can't we got to get enough kills? Yeah, uh, we see six kills in India, and I heard that coffee and uh got a lot of pros are going to survive. Hey, I'm six I am. Oh yeah, 6 a.m. Jump for one. This is Cam, 6 w w Jump for two. Hearing the line there. Hey, Michael, we're getting a uh, jam in the uh, video picture folks, so please swoop in with the canopy. 18 probes versus 15. Hey, man, I love how we're going to talk to my canopy a couple of times. It's been fun. This one stalker gets a second one down, but Kiwi Kaki has a primary. Let's play off game, please. Now back home, Sase is trying to warp in just one Zella at a time. A nice force field, and he will barely be able to. And he's 6 RD. Again, with his second 
straight 2-0 in Group C. Wow. The Hey, Mark, can you step back? I want to zoom in on Mark out there in the field. might have a similar run to his Swedish counterpart, Naniwa, who at the start of the year won 26 games. Almost in a row. Yeah. He won 24 in a row, lost two, and then won the final two against to take that victory in PvP. Sase looking to do the exact same here at this MLB. And yeah, just the other update. Do we have any water? Hey Mark, you know what? I got a. You may just probably go ahead and do the jump without the video. I'll get that ready for the next one because we're going to spark around with everything else. Surprisingly, in last place, you'd expect to at least get one win in the series against Red. Last at LG, taking you down in the best of three as well. Now, uh, coming up later on in the day, it does look like the next will be against Puma and following Chef and Bomber. And of course, it's going to be really tough battle there.